Okay, a, a popular way nowadays of um, producing canvas prints is printing directly onto an inkjet canvas. Um, so rather than printing on, uh, onto a photographic paper or taking a paper print, um, heat sealing it and stripping it and then mounting it onto canvas, this has actually been printed directly onto the canvas uh, through one of the big inkjet printers. Okay, um, this is very unstable at the moment, so it does need protecting. Um, what we're going to use here, this is uh, gloss luster or satin X heat seal film. Uh, we've cut ourselves a piece that's larger than the print. And again, it's exactly the same way. We're going to fold back a couple of inches, around about five centimeters of the release. Put a crease in there. Okay. We can take a tack cloth, just wipe over that, lightly wipe over the canvas. Again, caution when you're using the tack cloth on the actual surface of the print that you're going to be using it onto. Take the heat seal film, turn it back over, line it up onto the, the canvas. Okay, again, if we just roll the heat seal film up, okay, and you can see there that the release paper is underneath. Again, we can just give this a, a quick wipe down. We then just pull off the, the heat seal film in one go. Again, always do this on a cold surface. Um, again, if the, the actual adhesive on the, the heat seal film starts to activate, it might pick up some of the inks um, off the inkjet print. So we're just going to smooth that down. You'll notice here that we haven't left too much of a border on for this process, um, just for this demonstration purpose. But again, you would normally have about a four inch border all the way around. Um, what we're going to do now, again, it's just trim the heat seal film off square. So it's in line with the canvas, so nothing's going to be overhanging. So once we've trimmed it off, we need to put this into the press. Um, again, we're going to put this into the press for five minutes. We're using uh, gloss luster or satin X heat seal film again. Um, what we're going to do, uh, as you can see, if I lift this up, you'll actually notice that the heat seal film bunches up in the center. We're actually going to use a carrier board, uh, which is the board that we made earlier to transport this into the press. So we've got a, a carrier board on standby. Lay it onto the table. Lay your work onto the onto the carrier board and then we're going to pop it into the press so again lift this up we're going to fold the foam out of the way get that out of the way and then that goes into the press fold the foam back down making sure that it covers and we can switch the pump on and it's going to take about five minutes, as I said, so just press the start button. Five minutes, 20, 20 seconds again for it to allow to pull to pressure. Five minutes for the heat seal film to work. Okay, we've now taken the, uh, the laminated inkjet canvas out of the press. And you can see here, uh, this is an unlaminated version. So this was the original that, we've, uh, that we had earlier. Uh, you'll notice that there's quite a lot of contrast difference now between the two pictures. Um, also, if I take a blade and... You can see how easily that scratches. Uh, if I do it in the same area, on the black area, there's no scratching at all. Um, also, when you do stretch your canvases, you are actually going to be stretching. And you can see straight away where the white fibers of the, the inks uh, of the canvas are showing through from underneath. Where again, if we look at the, the one that's been laminated, we can fold this really firmly, unfold it, and there's no inks that are coming away from the canvas at all. So again, very well protected. And also the other thing, this is now, uh, it's been waterproof so that you can actually polish it, clean it down, etc. Um, another common problem, because a lot of these are um, displayed in, uh, in maybe coffee shop environments or in shop environments, etc. Uh, we've got some coffee here, some just black coffee. And we're going to just pour it over the two. Let me give it a little bit on both sides. If I just wipe that away. You can see it just wipes straight off the one that's been laminated and straight away you'll notice that the, the one that hasn't been laminated, the actual edges has gone brown. So again, lamination is definitely the key when you're doing inkjet canvas prints. 
Okay, so now that we've produced the canvases, this is the paper print that we laminated, soaked, and mounted onto the canvas, or the photographic print that we laminated, dry stripped, and then mounted onto the canvas, or the inkjet canvas that we've just laminated, put the heat seal film over the top of. Again, all of them would have borders, larger borders all the way around. So we can actually stretch it. We do sell stretcher bars of various different lengths. We've got here two 12-inch and two 16-inch stretcher bars that make the frame. And you'll notice that it's slightly smaller than the actual print. Um, the idea is then is to stretch the, the print around the canvas so that it makes it look like an oil painting effect.